Hello everyone, welcome to another lecture. Today we're going to start another X-ray series. So this series will mainly contain about identifying important structures and lines on X-rays and identifying the important structures on some common X-rays. So this is an X-ray of the pelvis and today we're going to look at uh, what are the important things to see in this X-ray. So um, first thing to start is the um, pelvic rings. So this thing here is the pelvic ring. So that's the first thing. So this is the main pelvic ring. The next thing is to identify the two obturator foramen. So this is the one obturator foramen and this is the second obturator foramen. So I'll just write it as obturator foramen there obturator for them there. So first thing is to identify these rings. Uh, now next we will move to the uh, so some of the lines and the establum uh, that are important to understand. So the first line here is the ilio ischial and iliopectineal lines. So this line here is called the ischial line. The next thing is a line which is kind of similar to this but it goes this way. So that is the iliopectineal line. Okay, so these are two important lines to understand. And then uh, from the middle side of the femur, continuing with the pubic rami, uh, is your Shenton's line. So this is a very important line because in femoral neck fractures, as we'll see later, this thing is broken and this is one of the reasons things to identify. So that's the Shenton's line. Okay, um, now as we move on, we first identify the acetabulum. Okay, so this is the acetabulum here. Okay, and then you have to identify the anterior and the posterior rims of the acetabulum. So that's the anterior rim and that's the posterior rim so that's anterior anterior rim and that's the posterior rim of the establum okay then uh, next to it is the femur bone so that's the greater trochanter and that's the lesser trochanter. This is the shaft of the femur. Okay, and then you obviously have the neck and the head of the femur so that's the head okay and then this thing here is called this small thing here is called the teardrop because it looks like a teardrop so that's easy okay so that's a teardrop so that's most of the stuff around the establum in the, uh, on the proximal femur. So these are the things to identify. Then in the middle part of this pelvis, the structure that you see here, so this thing here is called the symphysis pubis. Okay. And 
then this is the inferior pubic rami. And then here we have the superior pubic rami. Okay, so these are the major structures in this part. And then as we move forward, we basically move up onto the pelvis. So these lines here, drag this line. So that these are the sacroiliac joints. Okay. So these are the sacroiliac joint. Okay. And this is sacrum. And this is ilium. So you can see the joint between the two is a sacroiliac joint. Okay. And these are the sacral foramina. Okay. And these are called arcuate lines. So these are the main structures on a pelvic x-ray which you need to identify and which you need to be aware about. Please do come back for more videos, leave your comments and thank you for watching. Please like and share, subscribe to our channel and watch our next video. Also comment on the videos that you like and share amongst your friends. Also please do visit at navmanvideos.com for detailed lectures and more notes. Thank you. Please keep coming back.